So this is my 96 third gen Toyota 4Runner and I'm doing the diff breather mod. It's basically just relocating this breather here that sits on top of the diff at the back. The whole purpose is to basically move this breather up and out of the way so that you can't get water in your diff if you're going through puddles or trenches or anything like that and you're doing a lot of off-roading. So these are the parts that you need here. I'll put the part numbers in the description. Pick these up from Toyota actually just in my area. So it's basically just this that will screw into the diff and then has a barbed end that you can connect to a hose. I've got about five or six feet of this 3 8 hose and then I've got a new breather here that's going to go on the end of the hose and I just need a few zap straps and we should be good to go. So what I've done so far is I took out my old breather. I just gave it a quick wire brush to make sure that no dirt and stuff like that falls in. Uh, this was a 14 mil and came out no problem. Then I put in the new fitting. This was actually a 12 mil. I slid my hose over top and then I just put a zip tie on here really tight. Um, a hose clamp's probably a good idea, but I think a zip tie will be okay. So I just put that on there and then I ran it up here. You can kind of just run it like next to this brake line or up and above here, coming out there next to the fuel hose there, the fuel fill hose and then I just shove it kind of like right up in through there. Then the next thing I need to do is pull off this plastic cover here and um, get in behind there so that I can just zip tie it up there, tuck it in there. Make sure if you are doing this that, that either the suspension is at full droop or that you have this at least as long as your brake line. You don't want to make it too short and then it pops off from your suspension ex extending. So that's one thing to be mindful of. Then I basically just ran it right up here along the fuel fill hose. Just zip tied it right along here and shoved it right through here. Then you got to take this guy off. So there's a couple 10 mil bolts and you could try and pull these guys out. Uh, what helps is if you can get pliers in behind and kind of just pinch them a little bit. Um, does help to pull them out or this one kind of just came right through the hole. And then I just ran my hose basically all the way up along the fill spout and just zip tied it up here. That's high enough for me. A lot of guys will kind of send it right through to the fuel cap, but I don't think that that's necessarily uh, needed. So I think this will be definitely a much bigger improvement than right on top of the diff. So all I have to do is put this stuff back on and we're done.